Hi, my name is Frank Ayers from Ayers Animation Incorporated, and I thought it would be fun to step you through uh, some of the things that we're doing on our next project, uh, Cosmos Day Off. That's what we're calling it at this point, it may change. We have a storyboard put together, and as you can see here on my screen, this is a, um, a real quick uh, rough sketch, and it's zoomed in so it's all pixelated, but, but you can see what we want you to see here, and there's a little Cosmo, and it's going to have lots of little interactivities on this page, like touching the phone and hearing it ring, or touching the alarm clock and having a shake and do an alarm, or touching the lights. But the one thing I wanted to, to highlight on, on this little video segment was uh, when you look out Cosmo's window here, so we thought it would be really cool, uh, something we didn't have in the last application, but incorporate some 3D into this. So when the user clicks on this window, a little blow-up window would pop up with the planets, and they're going to be fully interactive. They can orbit the planets, they can move them, and maybe um, they can actually spin the planets. But um, right now, we're just sticking with the orbiting. But uh, if we can get to the point of making them spin, you know, taking the finger and just flicking it and making them spin faster or slower, that would be really cool too, something we really want to achieve. Um, but right now, we've, we've actually prototyped the uh, moving, the orbiting planets, and it looks pretty cool. So we think the kids will have lots of fun with it. What we have here is 3D Studio Max. It's a commercial 3D application. So we want to be able to use something like this where um, it has a lot of power, where we can easily create planets, um, add texture maps to the planets. For our prototype, we, used, we just downloaded some textures from NASA. And uh, you can actually see it's a rectangular image. And you actually take that and plop it right there on your 3D object. And 3D Studio Max is smart enough to wrap it around it and, and make it look really cool. So we can actually bring that a little forward and you can see that there. So we wanted to make sure that whatever we do here in this commercial application, we want to be able to export it all out and bring it all into the children's storybook. So we built this little mock-up here um, in 3D Studio Max. Here's the prototype where we took the export file and ported it in and wrote a little bit of code to make sure that those reference orbiting lines don't appear when they're normally orbiting, but helps really helps the eye when um, when the actual user is moving, especially with kids. I think they get really confused. So we put those there and made sure the planets actually uh, move around the uh, sun. In this case, we'll have multiple suns in the actual storybook. But uh, it was fun to put together. It was really exciting to put this together, see it come to life. And but what we're really excited to see is how the kids really enjoy this type of interactivity. Well, I hope you enjoyed uh, getting a bit of a glimpse at what we're doing here at Ayers Animation Incorporated.